Okay, so this used to be the home of the flea market by the bay. It used to be that green building right there. And there was probably, I would say, probably around 100 vendors in there. They had 100 vendors selling various things, some new, some used items. And I worked there for probably three years. It's kind of fun on the weekend. And so what had happened is uh, the bay keepers uh, realized that, you know, I, this is just part of the theory, that because this used to be a mill, there were some toxic wastes uh, before the flea market. I think the flea market was going on five or eight years, maybe ten years. And then the bay keepers, all of a sudden, when the Bayshore Mall uh, fired up and Winco uh, or uh, Costco got going, the bay keepers wanted to close the flea market down because whatever, 10, 15 years before that, they had a mill that may have leaked toxic chemicals into the ground and or the people who parked at the flea market with their cars leaking oil would cause a toxic hazard. It's just like this parking lot here. Any parking lot that has cars parked on it is going to have oil runoff. So the baykeepers were concerned that the oil runoff from the cars here in at the flea market by the bay uh, would pollute the bay. Um, and so basically they closed it down. Now, uh, hindsight uh, I believe that the Bayshore Mall and uh, Costco uh, did not want any competition from the Bayshore Mall and thus funded the baykeepers to uh, force the uh, flea market by the bay out of commission. And again, the baykeepers claim that because of the weekend parking, the cars that park in the parking lot over here, in oil, and cause a problem uh, because of the runoff of the, the oil from the parking lot into the bay. Now, it may have also had something to do with the fact that this used to be a lumber mill that used toxic um, processing materials, but so did the uh, so did the uh, mill across the bay here, and that is being used for another uh, recycling business, from what I understand. So. Um, Meanwhile, uh, the geoengineering for the past three years, a friend of mine has been documented for the past eight years, of spraying barium, aluminum, strontium, sulfur, etc. in our air, and yet the uh, county, uh, region, district, cities are doing nothing about that whatsoever. So. My view is that the uh, people at the Bayshore Mall and Costco forced the flea market by the bay out of business. Um, claiming that it, it was a, a toxic hazard. <laughs> um, but meanwhile, we have the spraying of nanoparticulates of barium, strontium, aluminum, sulfur, coal ash, 
etc and they're doing nothing about it so what's the priorities here i wonder